Laura is obviously torn. Does she choose the man who once abducted her and made her fall in love with him, or the one who pretended to be someone else and used her in a mafia plot? Unsure of what to do, she returns to her parents' house in Poland and spends a couple of reasonably calm days before getting a call from Olga telling her that Massimo has learned about her affair with Nacho. Olga counsels Laura to flee and evade Massimo's fury, but Laura adopts a different stance and decides to return to Sicily right soon so she may confront her husband. She follows through with this, but who would you ever guess is in the taxi that picks her up at the airport? Nacho, of course it is. He admits to her that he has fallen in love with her and explains why she should choose him. She eventually returns home, where Olga is anxiously awaiting her and is still attempting to convince her not to speak to Massimo. Laura, though, is unfazed and manages to track down her husband on the beach, where he strikes a rather serene pose. He confides in her and explains how their time spent together as a happy couple changed his life since he had at last understood what he truly desired for himself. He admits that he knows about Nacho and that he can't forgive himself, but he goes on to share some advice his father once gave him, just let it go, if you genuinely love it. He goes on, if it returns, it is always yours. If not, it was never intended to be. Laura's reaction? Your father was a great parent. And one day, you will be. Massimo's final words are, are you back, baby girl? And the movie concludes with the couple gazing at each other passionately on the beach. Therefore, although Massimo's query is not fully answered, it is strongly hinted that Laura has decided to stay with her husband rather than leave with Nacho.